do you want to add custom links in GoodNotes, but you don't know where to start? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to add different links to your notes. No frills, just practical tips to enhance your GoodNotes experience. Okay, here we go! The Happy Habits Planner already has hyperlinks to help you navigate. Make sure you're in the read-only mode to use these hyperlinks. So why would you need to add additional links? Well, you may want to add your own links to other pages within your planner, or maybe even another GoodNotes file. You could even have links that go to useful web-based resources for note-taking. Select the text that you want to link, and click on the Link option in the pop-up. Now we want to go to the Link To option and change Document to Website. Now I'm going to go and copy the link for Wikipedia for this tutorial. Let me quickly do that. And then once you have the link for the website you want, you're going to go to the Link Settings for the word that you've selected to link and you're going to replace the link which is default GoodNotes website with the link to the website you want to use. Tap outside of the pop-up to save it and the link text is now underlined with dashes. To open the link you're going to tap on the linked word and click on open link and then click on yes and now it will take us to the web page which is Wikipedia. If I decide to remove this link, I go to Link Settings and Remove Link. Note that this word is no longer underlined with dashes. If I want to create a link to a page, I'm going to go to Link again. Make sure that it's linked to the document, and in this case it's going to be this document, and I can leave it the default next page. Now you'll see that when I then click on this linked word, it takes me directly to the next page of my planner. And if I want to change this to go to a different numbered page within my planner, I'm going to click on page and it gives you the thumbnail views of all of the pages within your planner or notebook. And then you click on the page you want it to link to. And I'll show you, I'll test it now and go to page and you see it goes to that page. Select the text that you want to create a link to, click on link, and now under the document option, you're going to select the GoodNotes document that you want it to be linked to. Click on the select button, and then go and click back, and then click go to page. Now you'll see that it opens up the GoodNotes file that we have selected. One of the links that I like to use in my GoodNotes um, is a link to Spotify playlists. So I go and copy the link to the playlist and then paste this into my GoodNotes. Which is really cool if you just want to go to a playlist that you like listening to whilst journaling for example. So you'll see that when I open the link, it will now take me directly to this playlist. If you don't want to add a link to a specific bit of text, you can actually use emojis and then create links out of them. Another thing that I like to do is to have my link and then just paste an image over it and then by long pressing it, you can still access the link. Lastly, if you use iCloud, you may also find it useful to add links to your specific iCloud folders. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Stay tuned for my next video. Okay, bye!